Alpha. Charlemagne the Devil. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes. Dog here today for Wednesday, May 10th, goes to the little lost Negro, formerly known as Bow Wow Wow, Yippee Yo, Yippee Yay, Mm-mm-mm. Shad Moss. Okay? Every day of Shad Moss's life, it seems like he's starring in a terrible biopic airing on Lifetime about himself. And of course, in this biopic, he is playing himself because let's be honest, nobody can play themselves better than Shad Moss can play himself. If there's one thing on this planet Shad Moss is good at, it's playing himself. Well, yesterday, the playing of thyself continued when Shad Moss posted a pic of a private jet with a Sprinter and Mercedes Benz pulled up to it with the caption, Travel Day! NYC press run for growing up hip hop. Let's go. I promise to bring y'all the hottest show ever, May 25th on WE TV. Now, Shad Moss is the executive producer of Growing Up Hip Hop. Salute to him on that. Uh, drop one of Clues Bombs for Shad Moss being the EP on Growing Up Hip Hop. <clears throat> but I don't understand how you can be EP of a show called Growing Up Hip Hop when you clearly still have a lot of growing up to do. Okay, you know how they talk about doing the Baby Boy sequel? They should do it based on Shad Moss's life. He is a 30-year-old grown-ass man who mentally is still balled up in the fetal position of his mother's womb. Okay, Shad Moss may physically be a grown-ass man, but psychologically he is still that little boy who is headlining the Scream Tour. He's delusional, okay? I knew he was delusional when I saw that video of him online when he, when he had the hoodie on and he was walking in front of a group of kids and he was acting like he didn't want to be noticed and they didn't notice it was him. Remember this? Yo, it's a field trip behind me. They don't know it's me. Oh, sh**. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, they don't care, okay? This guy yeah. still thinks it's 2005. Not only did those kids not notice you, they probably didn't know who you are and actually didn't care. But back to the matter at hand. Shad, Shad Moss posted this pic of a private jet and immediately got called out. A young man took a pic of Shad Moss on a commercial airline with the caption, so this guy, Lil Bow Wow, is on my flight to NY. But on Instagram, he posted a picture of a private jet caption traveling to NY today, shaking my head. Shaking my head is the correct answer because Shad Moss is a devil damn liar. When will you fools realize there's no future in fronting? I know a lot of people like to say you turn out to be what you pretend to be. It could be some truth in that. But in the process of that, you have to be careful who you pretend to be because you might forget who you are. And Shad Moss, in his pursuit to pretend to still be that guy who's headlining the Scream Tour, forgot that he is not that guy Bow Wow anymore. And that's fine. You have moved on. You still moving and shaking. You still got a career. But for whatever reason, that's not good enough for you. For whatever reason, Shad Moss is choosing to catfish himself. Why are you trying to be Shad? Who, who, who are you trying to be, Shad Moss? Huh? Are you trying to be D-Pimpin'? Remember D-Pimpin'? D-Pimpin' is the guy who pretended to still be Bow Wow, okay? That's, who, that's what Shad Moss is doing. Shad Moss is D-Pimpin' pretending to still be Bow Wow. Mm-hmm. Now, a wise man who got caught red-handed the way Shad Moss did would have just fell back, relaxed his mind, let his conscience free, but not Shad Moss. Oh, Shad Moss got on IG and doubled down on the donkiness. He posted, <laughs> N-words so dumb. Oh, N-words take an old picture to say why I was and wasn't. Who do that? Y'all better stop playing with me. Ha, ha, ha. N-words is retarded. Now, Shad Moss, the only dumb, retarded N-word in this whole scenario is you. Because you were the one who took a stock picture from the Fort Lauderdale VIP transportation company and posted it, posted it on your IG like it was real. Okay, Shad Moss also posted, catch me at Teterboro tomorrow, going back home. Half y'all broke mofos, still can't afford a buddy pass on Spirit Airlines. Stay out the big boy lane. Now, I wish every single Mm -hmm. Spirit passenger who was fighting yesterday at Fort Lauderdale Airport could collectively jump Shad Moss. You the one fronting. You the one lying to yourself, and you got the nerve, the unmitigated gall to insult the financially challenged people of our society. I would rather be the broke mofo who can't afford a buddy pass on Spirit Airlines than be the mentally poor mofo who still got a lie to kick it like you are, Shad Moss. Financially broke, you can change that. Mentally broke, that takes a little work. And you, my friend Shad Moss, are mentally broke. Clearly, you are not happy with the life you are currently leading, because if you was, then you wouldn't have to post stock photos from Fort Lauderdale VIP limo. Shad Shad Moss and all the kids listening out there, please listen to your Uncle Charlotte. Remember this. If you want to be successful, you must respect one rule. Never lie to yourself. Okay? You, you can learn a lot from your mistakes if you don't deny them. Okay? Shad Moss is not Bow Wow anymore, and that's fine. Bow Wow got the private jets. Shad Moss don't. At least not yet anyway. The moral of the story is, Shad Moss, you're not lying to me. You're lying to yourself. And a man who lies to himself and listens to his own lie comes to a point where he does not discern any truth in himself or anyone around him. I bet Shad Moss don't trust nobody simply because he don't trust himself. And why should he? 
when you're a 30 year old grown ass man who still got a little 10 year old boy rap superstar living inside of him Shad Moss at this point in his life is trans Bow Wow what? and that's not healthy okay dear Shad Moss the truth will set you free but you first have to realize which lie is holding you hostage and the truth is Shad Moss you are not little Bow Wow anymore forget growing up hip hop you just need to grow up period please give Shad Moss the biggest hee haw please uh -huh. damn Oh, just my gonna, goodness. Now, all that ether? Now, if Shad Moss is smart, he leaves this alone. But I fear today that Shad Moss is going to pull up to Teterboro Airport and either take <laughs> a video of him about to get on a private jet or he's going to take a video of him actually in a private jet. But the jet not going to take off. Okay. Or worse yet, Shad Moss might just blow the bread. To he got to blow the bread. He gonna, you think he's going to blow the bread? He has to That's blow the bread. That's what you're betting on. He has to oh, prove himself. He has to go man. to Teterboro today and he has to spend <laughs> oh, that. He does not have to. If you think he's going to blow the bread? If he's going to Atlanta, it'll cost no. him about, about $20,000. Oh, maybe 15000 if he get a hookup. But if he's going to LA, it's going to cost him 30000 So he's going to spend 15000 Oh, listen. That. Whether he goes to Teterboro Airport to fake take pictures of him on the private jet or whether he blows the bread, the moral of the story is the fronting will continue. Is Shad enough? Is Shad Moss smart enough to stop the fronting? Find out on the next edition of Growing Up Bow Wow. The Breakfast Club.